What's up? Hello. Hello, Stefan Nasik, baby. So, uh, I am wondering if you wanted to say hi to people on the YouTube. Hi. What's going on with you, baby? Nothing much. I've been spending time with the dog. I've been working on my PhD. And I have a niece now. You have a niece now. Do you want to tell us about your niece? My brother had his baby on Monday. Yeah. May 24th. Tiny little baby, 5.9 pounds. And she's the cutest little bug and I love her to death and she's the love of my life. So, uh, do you want to uh, present the episode? This week, this week we... Dom is going to show you how he worked on the lower cabinets and also meeting with Dominic Menon, another van lifer with long hair and abs. So I hope you like this episode. What do you mean abs? <laughs> Was that a good intro? That's a good intro. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Right. Okay, bye. Welcome back at the shop with Sylvain Fauché. What's the plan today, Papa? I don't know, you tell me. No, I have to work on your, uh, whatchamacallit? Cooking Ki cabinet. Cooking kitchen cabinet. Cooking cabinet, cooking unit. Cooking unit, including the fridge, the cooktop, all the utensils, the kitchenware, the cookware, and I think that's it, right? But it's still your cooking cabinet. But it's still called a cooking cabinet. Big so let's start with planning and exploring the outer shell. Maximizing the space we have. Let's maximize the space we have. Let's go. Right. Okay, let's go. in there and there's a lot of obstacles that we have to deal with the walls of your van we put your eating unit right under that cabinet so we have to deal with that also you want to put a fridge which is going to be right there uh, you want to put the cooktop we have to take into account the gas line that goes in there the uh, the valves under your cooktop that we have to take into account also plus all your fancy requests for drawers uh, pots and pans and etc etc plus your i think you want a pantry right in the middle here so we have to take care of that right now we have this frame we have to adapt it to the floor and the eating and then we'll be able to construct around it so lots of work my friends let's play that <laughs> by popular demand we put together a playlist on Spotify where you can listen to all the songs that we put in our videos. There are three hours and 32 minutes of our songs on Spotify and today we will listen to them together while we build our kitchen cabinet. So let's go! Papa, uh, can you explain to me uh, why did you draw on my fridge, Papa? Well, because I have to make it fit in there nicely, so what's available here, what's available there, what's the height, everything is... I there. don't want you to draw on my furniture. You made me cry. So many I just made, I just adapted my template to this counter. We have the pre-top height. Now I can go and see what are the obstacles in the van. Now I know where that box is going to end. Now I know what this shape is going to do. Now I know it falls under your window. It falls flush with this wall here, but I have to deal with all that now. Oh, we're just going to put a hole in the back of your cabinet and then cover it with a, put a cover on it. You can make the cabinet to adapt to the holes. I'd rather do the cabinet and then create holes. It's a lot quicker, a lot easier. Let's cut this mobile. Let's go and put that on your box.
My father likes to start with the frame of each cabinet he needs to work on and then cut holes in the frame to make it fit against the wall of the van. A lot of people like to work the other way around, meaning starting to build against the wall uh, all the way down to the aisle, which is also fine. We are going to start the water unit on the other side of the aisle. But before doing that, we're gonna go see my mom with another episode of Unboxing with André, and she will present the two main components of this water cabinet, meaning the sink, and the faucet. So we're listening to you, mom. This one is from LK. LK. Guess what it is. What is yeah. Are you looking for the English word? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is the English word? Faucet. Oh, faucet. Faucet. It's a faucet. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll have it. Oh. Like this? No, no. Pull up the front like this. Oh! Oh, okay. Whoa! Whoa. Look at that. This is high quality stuff. Ooh. Is oh, it's matte. Ooh. Whoa! Whoa. Matte, oh, matte. Whoa. So this is a single handle. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Testing. One, two. <laughs> oh, are we going to the food truck? Yes, we. Yes, we are. Okay, this okay. is a single-handle kitchen faucet. Model LKAV3032 from LK. And the reason why we chose that is first, it looks... It looks very designed. Black matte is really nice. Yes. And uh, and the reason why we chose that one is very simple, Mama. You probably remember in Vanessa Ness, in Vanessa 1, we had a pull-out uh, yes. uh, handle like this. Yes. Because we can bring the water yes. wherever outside. we want in the van outside as well. And, oh, and this is for the psh and for the normal one. Yeah, this is for the normal. You yes. have to do the sound effect. This is for the normal. And this is for the psh. 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 Okay. <laughs> So that was our LK faucet. This is a big gift. Yes, it is. We're so almost hidden behind the box. Coco. <laughs> Whoa, look at oh, that. Oh man, this is nice. Oh wow. Together, together. Oh. Look at that. Oh, tilt it. Look at that, my with man. The, with the <gasps> grill here. And there's a grill too. Because do you know why we asked for a grill? It's because when we drive and we put all the yeah. plates in the sink, it shakes and it scraps yeah, the but sink. The plate should be clean and in the cupboard. Okay, so <laughs> you have that in the house too. Yeah. So you probably notice here we have uh, the same color. Well, I hope so. Look at that. <laughs> That would be a bit uh, awkward if it would be, uh, I don't know. Another pink. color, yeah. Pink. And uh, I think there's not much more to say about the sink except that it's a very nice color. It's 15-3-4, 15-3-4. Yeah. It fits with the faucet. Well, it's nice. It's a nice sink. Yes, you'd be able to wash and wash and wash and wash. And wash and wash and wash and wash. And wash. So uh, it was an unboxing with André. Yes, and it's over already, so high five. High five, Nana. <laughs> See you next week for another episode of Unboxing with André. There is a bonus uh, piece of equipment that I would like to present today and this is our undermount gray water tank that is gonna go under Vanessa Nessa. The reason why we use a undermount exterior water tank this time is to save some space in our water unit inside. We realized with Vanessa one that we were wasting a lot of uh, space carrying around our gray water. So with this huge gray water tank underneath the vehicle, we won't have that problem anymore. It can hold way much more gray water than the one we had before, which was only seven gallons. So undermount exterior gray water tank that you can buy at Boreal Campeur. Great little tank if you want to manage your water properly. We strongly suggest you check it out. Okay, my father is basically done cutting and preparing the kitchen unit. Now we're gonna go work on the water unit. So I'm gonna go join him right now to see where this is going. Follow me. Not that big, eh? 
It's a small cabinet for yeah. everything we want to put in. It's a small one, man. Very small. Uh, can you explain me why you're trying to fit my toilet in the kitchen cabinet, though? Well, I'm using the cabinet we designed yesterday to take measurements for the future one. Since cabinets are about the same height, same uh, depth, uh, I'm using the one in front of this future cabinet to take measurements. Like your sink, for example. How deep is it gonna go? And your toilet, right there. From Tetford. How high is it gonna be? And I think since we're gonna lose a lot of volume in there, we're gonna put everything there and empty the other side for your wishes drawers and stuff like that. Okay, so why do you draw like this? Oh, this is going up. This, this is, is going, going up. up. You're very proud of that tool, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, it's a gift from Thierry. Who's Thierry? Thierry is your brother. Oh, my brother. You dumb shit. You dumb shit. <laughs> It is heavy. Are you done? Yes. It's time for the saga slap. Okay, but I still see a piece there. Yes, but that is why it's time for the saga slap. What is, what is it? It's a new way to get rid of your indents. Show me. All the measurements you were talking about the other day yeah it gives this fit see your counter comes here tabarnucci papachi it's a nice mobile chi see air in the bottom air in the sides in there and there's going to be a vent on the side of the fan here and the compressor so it's going to breathe don't you know i want you baby So we're done for today. See, I didn't do it. I didn't do yeah, it. Yeah, you didn't do it. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. <laughs>Today is a big day for Van Life Saga. Today is the day I confirm that Marie and I will be using a porta potty in our next van. We know, we know. We said in the hygiene video last year that we were better off just going in the woods or in public restrooms. However, we changed our minds when we ate Mexican food in Colorado last spring. Now this uh, Tetford porta potty is a very simple system. It's divided in two. Top and the bottom. The top would basically be your traditional toilet system and the bottom would be your number one and number two reservoir. The way it works is very simple. You just uh, add some water and some deodorant here. This is your flushing system. It's a manual pump. And when this green light turns red, it means that this cartridge is full of shit. So what you do is very simple. You unlock the bottom cartridge and you go empty it in a dump station. As simple as that. This is basically a suitcase. Let's call it a poop suitcase. And you can walk around it very easily because it's sealed and it's meant to be used that way. Once you're done, you clean it. You come back to your camper van and voila. This will be Marie and I new toilet system. A porta potty 550 by, by Tetford. We can't wait to use this. Especially after our Mexican nights. Let's move on with the rest of the video. <laughs> Dominic Menor. Welcome to my base camp. Oh, your base camp. <laughs> so you work there, right? Yeah, actually I do. Vermont is where I feel home. Yeah. Uh, you know, eventually I might buy a land or something, but oh. you know, I still love the van life thing. And uh, these guys, Pit Stop Velo Cafe, own the, the coffee shop and it's also a bike shop. And uh, they let me camp here so I can actually uh, go inside, do my laundry, have a shower, coffee, access Whoa. to Wi-Fi. So pretty stoked. That's amazing. Well, let's go get some coffee then. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Bro, 
well when I'm not on the road filming because uh, I'm working on a, a, a web series and it's actually a TV series now. Yeah. And it's called Bon Velo. And, um, You're so, a TV star too now, right? Geez, yeah, it's been pretty wild in, in the last year. Yeah. I have to like, pinch myself. But uh, yes, yeah, so I started a, a web series which was then bought by a, a TV channel here in Quebec. What? It's called Bon Velo, so I'm pretty stoked. My, my goal with Bon Velo is actually to promote mountain biking in Quebec. Mm -hmm. And uh, so yeah, my, my life is changing basically. Uh, so, uh, you know, biking is my world, so my passion. So, so you're living the dream. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing, my, uh, man. Yeah, man. Welcome to my living room. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Bolo is actually playing on TV. Good morning, guys. Hey. Bonjour. Hey, bon matin. <laughs> bon matin, <ouais. laughs> Yeah, we have amazing food here. Like, not the typical food you would find in a, in a bike shop, usually. <laughs> yeah, coffee is amazing. It's actually a Julius coffee it's okay. from Costa Rica. They roast it right here, actually. I can show you after. Yeah, okay, it's yeah. Right in here. That's crazy, man. And, uh, yeah, eventually we'll have uh, events here when things go back to normal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Coffee's ready. Let's go in the van. Let's go drink it in the yeah. van. Uh, yeah, so almost five years now living the van life. I, I bought my van, it was June 8th, 2016. Uh, that was a few months coming back from Costa Rica, uh, a three month uh, backpack trip, mm -hmm. which brought me to Nicaragua, Panama, and Europe as well. Okay. So when I came back, like, I had this like uh, sudden uh, realization that my life was not going where I wanted. It was a sprinter van called Rita, uh, in honor of my godmother who, who passed away. So she said, you know, go, go for pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> go for yeah, pleasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, it's not that complicated, you know, because you can actually fit your lifestyle, your work to, to the van. The only difference is, like, instead of going back to a house, you go back in a van. Having everything you need, you didn't have to think about, and I could go after, ride my bike, so I didn't have to go back home, didn't have to rent hotels. You have to accept that you're not going to be uh, at the most beautiful place. And especially these days, you know, there's a lot of people in, in their van and I don't think cities have adapted. We get a lot of closed doors right now, like, but eventually like all those parking lots now, they give tickets, right? So that's why I settle here at the pit stop. I have peace uh, of mind here. I want to keep doing what I'm doing, like maybe film a season three, do more videos for sure. Now I can actually focus 100% on Bon Velo, which is my passion, live van life full-time as well and I'll keep doing this for a while for sure. My dream would be to drive to Costa Rica one day with, with someone. So yeah, I love, the, I love this one, lifestyle. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks man. Cheers again. Cheers. Yes sir. I hold her hand across the table in a little cafe. If you ever get confused between the two Dominics, the one from Van Life Saga looks like he just got out of jail, while the one from Bonvillo is simply hot. He also has abs, while the Saga Dominic doesn't. That's it for this week. We hope you learned something about kitchen cabinets, sinks, and walkie-talkie faucets. <laughs> Remember that you now have a full Spotify playlist with all the songs that were used in our clips. The only thing missing is the title of that playlist. If you have ideas, please leave them in the comments below. Stay tuned, it is now time for your French lesson. French lesson number 49. <coughs> As-tu oublié de tirer la chasse? Did you forget to flush? This sentence is very easy. As-tu is for did you. Oublié is for forget. And de tirer la chasse is for to flush. Now the expression to flush in French is a very weird and very archaic. To flush is literally tirer la chasse d'eau, and chasse d'eau means hunt of water. It's this man, John Harrington, the godson of the Queen Elizabeth I, who invented la chasse d'eau. And now make sure you pronounce chasse and not 
chias because otherwise this would mean tirer la chasse to throw my poop. As-tu oublié de tirer la chasse? Did you forget to flush? Thank you.